Bobby Dodd Stadium opened way back in 1913 and has been rocking Atlanta ever since. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's a quick throw. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. He's tackled at the 38. That's a very nice, relaxed delivery right there. Even in the face of the blitz, he held his ground and made a perfect toss. That's a big boost. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They make the stop at about the 35. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. And he's level at the 16 yard line. That's a good one. That makes it very sad. From the 16 yard line, it's third down. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made just outside the goal line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Davis on the give. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 78-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Pittsburgh to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Black five, black five. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. He's on the run, and he is drilled at the 
41. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Quick throw, brought down at the 46. Here's an opening. Five yards there for the quarterback. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Addison is back deep to return the punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pittsburgh up seven points. And he's hit immediately. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Run play and he'll lose yards. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 32. Here we go. Fires quick. Tipped. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Tries to thread the needle, it's picked off. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From the 41-yard line, first down. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Heavy on the edges. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Panthers. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Hey, They'll Mike, spread the Mike, field Mike, with five wide. Oh, and he's tackled oh, after positive yardage. That'll bring up third and eight. Three down, three down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's tackled at the 30. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. This one's going deep to the end zone. It's going the other way. Missed tackle. Great play there by the corner to come up with a big interception. That's not a very good pass right there. He should probably have tried to throw that one away. He was under heavy pressure and then threw it right to the corner. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Pittsburgh is up seven. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a 
That makes it second and six. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Run, 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 Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Well, I think the linebacker here does such a good job of disguising his blitz. As a linebacker in college football, one of your biggest responsibilities is being able to get to the quarterback. And that time, he timed it up perfectly, was able to get through the offensive line and put the pressure on the quarterback. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 20. Got a man tackled for a loss. it out to about the 44-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set, and a defense anticipating pass here. And he's going to come up with a sack. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pittsburgh is up a score. They try running left. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. He's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 47-yard line, first down. He steps out right around the 44-yard line. Steps out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, third down. He 
hits him hard at the 24-yard line. First down. Pittsburgh is up by a touchdown. Ready, green, 88, green, 88, touchdown. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's on the run. He's taken off. Slides down to the ground. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. That screen gets around six. Pittsburgh is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Green nine, green nine. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled at the 40. The defense saw a clear path to the quarterback and got a little too wide-eyed there. They need to watch the over-pursuit and play with more discipline. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From the 49-yard line, first down. Complete, he's out of bounds. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one on one on a corner route, but his man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. stop at the 14 yard line there's very good chemistry between these two they like to run through all their routes before the game and i have to say they look sharp before this one even started takes it up the middle for a nice run throws it into coverage and it's intercepted that's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's a team seven. Two times, two times. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Panthers with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally... That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? 
I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and, and giving up big plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you're doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. Tackle made right around the 30. Five wide. Bounds at the 36 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Loose football. Picked up by the defense. Brought down at about the 37 yard line. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Nice run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Okay, check five, check five, six, five, six. Ready. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Taken back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. It's the safety. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. tries to buy some time. Decides to slide, so the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. They come out in a five-wide set. Pressured and brought down. Loss of five yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. from their own 27-yard line. It's third down. Looks to the back and can't connect. Mason was the intended receiver on that pass. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Addison, back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Addison takes it to 28. Brought down at the 48-yard line. 
Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's taken down at about the 49. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Let's it go. They can't connect incomplete. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage. Great play. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And a quick throw. And he's tackled in the open field. and he's got his man tackle at the 41-yard line. He goes out of bounds around the 43-yard line. it out to about the 44-yard line. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 14. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Gets to about the 14-yard line. He fights forward to about the 13. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Panthers with a 10-point lead.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. A 13-play, 90-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard. And at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? Question now in a one-possession game. Can they make it a two-possession game? They've got a chance to put this thing out of reach. Pittsburgh has a three-point lead. He scrambles. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. That's a that brings him second From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. The 36-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 40. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He guns it. On the pass, touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Hands it to the back. That makes it second and ten. Throw in left. This one will fall incomplete. That brings us third and ten. It's third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Gets it out quickly. On the throw, incomplete pass. That pass led him just a little bit too far. 
but still great effort. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the Booth Review is a great thing for college football. Throws and it's incomplete. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Four down, four down. Check A3, ball's going to A3. Ball's going to A3. Now he's scrambling. Right down at the 33. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. Two east, two east. Check, 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 check. He's going to try and scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Somebody jumped early down there. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Here's a running play, and they'll get him in the backfield. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. This one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown. Big play. Only a one score difference now after that big, big touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three point game. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 17-14. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two minutes in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second down and seven. Ball on the 49-yard line. Looking for the corner. Makes it to the 41. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. Georgia Tech's out of timeout. Fights forward to about the 39. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 31.
can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up. And he got it. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. They bring the quarterback down. And the ball game's over. The Panthers get the win, 20 to 14. The Yellow Jackets. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.